Today we're going to be unboxing a new fan speed controller from NZXT. This is the Sentry LXE. It's a high performance touchscreen fan controller, supports up to 8 watts per channel. I mean an 8 watt fan is a pretty beefy fan, so this is going to support most of the fans on the market without any difficulty. It displays RPMs for 5 fans which stands to reason because it is a five fan control, fan speed controller. You can also get five temperature displays. You can get a touchscreen monitor, which you can press to control everything. Anyway, all right. I think that's pretty much, oh, that's interesting. It says 10 watts per channel on the back. So I wonder which of those is correct. Maybe if someone, uh, someone knows which is correct, they can, uh, they can tell us. Interesting. So there's a desktop external temperature meter through a PCI card interface. Touch interface, intuitive RPM control, auto and manual mode operation. Hey, it displays the date, time, and day of the week. It has a brushed aluminum frame and a screen on off switch. It also features an alarm system, which it has in common with most fan speed controllers because the whole point of a fan speed controller, besides controlling the speed of your fans, is to alert you if anything goes wrong and it loses control. So the alarm will tell you if fans go below a certain RPM or worse yet, if they stop altogether. And in theory, that'll alert you, alarm you. Yeah, it should alarm you, but in theory, that'll let you know that the fan has failed and you need to do something about it quick, fast, and in a hurry before your stuff overheats and dies. So here's the user manual, which is really one panel, no, two panels. Okay, well there, this is the English one right here. So it shows you, you connect the little PCI card here, you connect the three pin fan connectors to the board and the fans you wanna control and detect. You plug a little, oh, this is interesting. Okay, well here, why don't, we, why don't we pull this out and have a closer look? Okay, well, hold on. Let's see what else we have here. So here's the touch screen interface usage. So they show you uh, the places to touch in order to select fan channels, hold this button to turn off the screen. Oh, you can turn off the screen. That's cool because if you're sleeping or whatever, that's pretty handy. Touch the switch. To, uh, to go between auto and manual modes, modify the time. Having a manual like that is really useful because I remember I was trying to use one of the touchscreen fan controllers a while back. It wasn't an NZXT one, I don't remember which one it was exactly, but it was just a nightmare to try and figure out how to do anything on it. And I mean, I'm not exactly, um, you know, this, this isn't my first computer component. I, I can usually figure things out fairly easily, but this one was just ridiculous. I couldn't figure out how to do anything with it. Every time I tried to adjust anything, I ended up uh, like triggering the alarm or something stupid like that. It was uh, not a very good experience, but hopefully this one would be better. So you got a couple of different mounting options for this guy, I think. Maybe you don't. I'll open it up and find out. Oh no, you don't. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, well, what I was expecting was for this to be a dual five and a quarter inch bay fan speed controller but what it actually is and i guess I'd have, i should have known this somehow yeah you can see the stand right there on the box i mean it should be pretty obvious but this actually sits on your desk and it looks quite nice you've got the brushed aluminum finish that they were talking about before you've got kind of a chromed accent around the screen itself and then you've got the touch screen right here and this is i mean this is thick too this is just gorgeous metal because what you typically see on like a cheap component that's gonna sort of sit on your desk like this, is you'd see aluminum maybe half the thickness of this. Usually steel, never mind aluminum. But it would be just like thin, thin stuff. Wouldn't look very nice, but this has actually got like a, it's got a plastic back on it, but I don't think that really matters because they've just got a gorgeous piece of aluminum on the front here. These uh, bottom pieces, I'm not sure if they're stickers or not. No, it looks like they're just uh, rubber. So they're non-slip rubber on the bottom here to uh, make sure that it doesn't slip. Okay, so if you were to put it down on, say, for example, a park bench, you wouldn't have to worry about it moving around too much. See, I can put a little bit of force on it and it won't move too badly. All right, so let's have a look at the accessories that are included with the LXE. First of all, we have this. Wow, that's a long cable. Look at this. I think it's longer than I am tall, which isn't really saying much, but I guess it's got to be, uh, wow, it's got to be like six and a half feet tall. Okay. Interesting. I guess we'll find out what that does in a moment. And then what other cables do we have? So we have our PCI control card. That's pretty cool. All right, so here's all of our temperature sensors, five temperature sensors coming out of these uh, temp one, temp two, temp three, temp four, and temp five uh, headers here. And then here we have 
What's this? This is probably power, I guess? Let's find out. We'll take this twist tie off, and uh, this thing actually looks pretty cool. I haven't seen something like this before. It's quite unique. Fan speed controllers are one of those things that, um, it's really hard to find a good one. Like, I actually spent, uh, wow, I, after international shipping, I had to buy it from, like, Germany or something ridiculous like that, but I actually spent about $150 on my fan speed controller just to get something that worked the way I wanted it to. So anyway, here we have the five fans that we can control and then there are all of the cables for them so you can run these to any part of your case quite easily. You can see these aren't quite as long as that other cable we were looking at but they are pretty long assuming you mount it somewhere near the top of your PCI slots. And then the last one here is, yeah, that's power. So you've got a um, four pin Molex power connector here and then there's a battery spot and they include a battery for you so I'm guessing you plug that battery in and it keeps all of your settings uh, stored when the system is powered off and it does not have any power so that way any of your fan speed profiles and speeds and your time and all that is going to be stored without having to worry about it. Here we have a couple of temperature sensors and I'm not sure why we have additional ones because there aren't any more ports but yeah it looks like we have two more temp sensors. How interesting. I'm not quite certain that I can figure out why they're here, but they're here. So you have two more temp sensors. Maybe it's just if you want to run them somewhere else in your case because the other ones are all uh, kind of grouped together. Maybe if you don't want to use two of them. Okay. And I figured out what this cable's for. So this cable goes from the back of the PCI mounted card here. So it's keyed so it only goes in one way. So you can see it goes in that way. So it goes from there to wherever you want. So it goes out of the back of your computer, assuming your computer is positioned somewhere sort of around here, and then it plugs into the back of the touchscreen display, ah, and then you put that wherever you want. That's actually really classy looking, look at that. Anyway, I like it. Thank you for checking out my video blog on the NZXT Sentry LXE touchscreen fan controller.